Hello and welcome you all. This is Professor Rajesh Barapte, a book author of 25 plus engineering books. Dear students, today's topic is for the subject digital signal processing. The topic is discrete Fourier transform that is DFT. The mathematical notation for DFT is X of N. If you have a discrete sequence X of N, its DFT is denoted by capital X of K. I have used bidirectional arrow. Why bidirectional arrow? It says that you can well calculate inverse DFT from this. That means you can, if you have X of K, you can generate X of N and so on. Mathematical equation is X of K is equals to summation N 0 to N minus 1 X of N E raised to minus J 2 pi K N upon capital N. What this N indicates, N is denoting number of points whose DFT you will be calculating. For example, if given sequence is X of N is 1, 2, 3, 4, that means there are total 4 points, 4 samples. So, in this case, value of N will be 4 and so on. Now, in DFT, there is one mathematical term which is called as twiddle factor. The mathematical term twiddle factor is denoted by notation W to the base N and it is given by E raised to minus J 2 pi by N. So, if I want to write definition of DFT in terms of twiddle factor, same equation, I can write it as x of k is equals to summation n 0 to n minus 1 x of n wn raised to k n. This is one more definition I have written. This is the definition of DFT in terms of twiddle factor. Now, as far as the numericals are concerned, I will tell you a simple trick how to solve the numericals uh, as far as this uh, calculation of DFT is concerned. We will be using matrix method which is the simplest method. In, term, in the matrix method DFT is X of K which is given by WN. This notation where I have written WN inside the square bracket is denoting the matrix of twiddle factor into input sequence x of n this input sequence must be written as a column matrix this is the matrix wn if for example there are four samples four points in the input sequence then this will be w4 this is the definition of dft in the matrix form where i will be writing wn that is twiddle factor in terms of matrix if you want to calculate inverse DFT, it is 1 by n WN asterisk into X of K. This WN asterisk indicates twiddle factor which is written in complex conjugate form. We'll solve few numericals, then this concept will be clear to you. Consider one numerical. Suppose it is asked to calculate I will write the question, calculate DFT of X of N is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the given question. Now see, in the given sequence X of N, there are 4 samples. So, this is called as N is equals to 4 point DFT. Suppose, the given sequence is like this. This is just one example. Suppose the given sequence is only 0, 1, 2. That's it. That means there are only three samples. What do you need to do? Always and always while using this method, you need to make use of the matrix. The size of matrix should be in terms of powers of 2. That means in another language, the value of n must be in terms of powers of 2. That means value of n must be 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on. If suppose given sequence is like this, what I need to do, there are three samples. This is not in terms of powers of 2. So what I will have to do, add required number of zeros. There are three samples. I need to make its length equals to 4. So I will be adding one zero at the end. This effect of addition of zeros to adjust the length of sequence is called as zero padding. Presently, <clears throat> the given sequence x of n 
consists of four samples, so n is equals to four. This is the matrix of W4, that is matrix of total factor, which you can use for n is equals to four. From the exam point of view, you just have to memorize this matrix. It's very simple. All these values are one, then only J and minus J terms are there. So just memorize this uh, uh, matrix of total factor. Now, <clears throat> the formula to calculate DFT in, in matrix form is X of K is equals to matrix WN. That means in this case, matrix W4, whose value I have already given into X of N. Just now I explained to you, this X of N you, is the given sequence which you need to write as a column matrix. So, how to perform the calculation? This matrix of W4, I'm keeping it as it is. I'll be writing it like this. X of K is equals to, this is the matrix of W4. This matrix remains same for every calculation, wherever you are calculating four-point DFT. Now, consider input sequence X of N. This you need to write as a column matrix. So, I'll be writing it like this. That's it. You just have to perform the matrix multiplication. I hope you are aware of performing matrix multiplication. So just for your information, how to do it? Consider this row and this column. So I'll be showing one calculation. <clears throat> it is written like this. First element is 1, 1 into 0. That is 0 plus this 1 into this second element. So 1 into 1, 1. Next 1 into 2. That is 2. Next, 1 into 3, that is 3. This is the first row. For second, again same. Consider this row and this column. So, 1 into 0, 0, minus j into 1. It is minus j, minus 1 into 2, that is minus 2. j into 3, that is 3j. Next, third. Consider this third row and same column. 1 into 0, 0. Then minus 1 into 1 and first is 0, minus 1. Then next 1 into 2, 2, minus 1 into 3, minus 3. Now last, last row, 1 into 0, 0. Then this j into 1 plus j, minus 1 into 2, that is minus 2. And this j into 3, that is minus 3j. So, final answer will be, just go on adding these values, first term will be 6, then this is minus 2 plus 2j, next minus 2 and this is minus 2 minus 2j. This is the answer which I got after performing matrix multiplication. How to write the final answer? The final answer is written as a sequence like this. So I will be writing x of k as 6 then minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j. This is the answer of DFT. One very important uh, concept I will tell you. To cross check the answer, simplest clue is if you are getting complex term, complex means what? The term like this. If you have one term a plus or minus j another term b. Then in the same answer, you should have the term A minus J B. For example, such terms are called as complex terms. For example, first term is 6, it is real. Second term in the answer is minus 2 plus 2J. So in the same answer, there must be term related to negative of the J term. That means, the, look at the last term. It is minus 2 minus 2J. Then and then only your answer is correct. So this is the way how to calculate 4 point DFT. Now, this is the calculation of DFT. Let us solve a numerical on inverse DFT to get an idea how to calculate inverse DFT. Problem is, calculate IDFT. IDFT means inverse DFT of given sequence X of K is equals to, I will write the values of X of K. It is 4, 1 minus J, comma, minus 2 and 1 plus j. This is the given sequence of x of k. That means DFT is given and it is asked to calculate inverse DFT. Recall the formula. To calculate inverse DFT, formula is x of n. Do remember the notation? We wrote like this. x of n. Its DFT is capital X of k. So, IDFT is 
of x of k is x of n. So formula is x of n is equals to 1 by n matrix Wn asterisk into x of k. As we discussed earlier, this x of k, I need to write it as a column matrix n. n means number of points given in the sequence. There are four points given in the sequence. So in the present case, value of n is equal to 4. So I need to write 1 by 4. Important term is, what about this Wn asterisk? Asterisk means complex conjugate. This is the matrix of W4, which we used, we have used in the previous sum. Just you need to, as far as numericals are concerned, you just have to remember only one formula for 4 point DFT. Just do remember the basic matrix of W4. If I want to generate Wn asterisk, that means in this case W4 asterisk, how to do it? Same matrix I am using, only change the sign of J term. For example, here I have minus J, I will make it plus J. This is plus J, I will make it minus J. Remaining terms, that is 1 minus 1, remains as it is. So this term remains as it is. This is plus J, I need to make it minus J. Similarly, this is minus J, I need to make it plus J. That's it, this is the matrix of W4 asterisk. Now, look at the formula. The formula is 1 by n, w, n asterisk, that means W4 asterisk, which we have developed into X of K. So, how to do it further? So, I will be writing it like this, x of n is equals to 1 by 4, this is 1 by 4 into wn asterisk, that means I have written the matrix of w4 asterisk into x of k, write it as a column matrix. So, here I will be writing it 4, 1 minus j, minus 2, 1 plus j. Simple, you just have to perform the matrix multiplication, keeping 1 by 4 outside as it is. Now, how to do it? So, I will be keeping 1 by 4 outside as it is. Again, like the previous matrix multiplication, consider first row and this column. So, 1 into 4 becomes 4, then 1 into 1 minus j, it becomes 1 minus j, 1 into minus 2, it becomes minus 2, 1 into 1 plus j, it becomes plus 1 plus j. Second row, same column. So, 1 into 4, it becomes 4, j into 1 minus j. Now, see. Here I will show you. This calculation is j into 1 minus j. How to do it? It is j minus j square. Do remember the mathematical identity. j square is always minus 1. So this becomes j minus of minus 1. That is j plus 1. Like this. So first calculation I have shown 1 into 4, 4. Then the j into 1 minus j. j into 1 minus j is j plus 1 plus j plus 1. Then minus 1 into minus 2, this is minus 2, minus 1 into minus 2 becomes plus 2, then minus j into 1 plus j. So, this calculation also I will show, minus j into 1 plus j, it becomes minus j minus j square. Again, j square is minus 1, so this becomes minus j minus of minus 1, that is minus j plus 1, so it is minus j plus 1. Next calculation, by this row, I will have to multiply entire term. So, 1 into 4 becomes 4, then minus 1 into this term. So, it becomes minus 1 plus j, then 1 into minus 2, minus 2, then minus 1 into this term, minus 1 minus j. Last row, last row and same column. 1 into 4, 1 into 4 I am doing. It is 4, then j into 1 minus j. Sorry, minus j into 1 minus j. So, minus j, I will do it here. Minus j into 1 minus j, it becomes minus j minus j square. Again, j square is minus 1. So, it is minus j, sorry, minus j plus j square. Minus of minus become plus. So, j square is minus 1. So, it becomes minus j plus of minus 1. That is minus j minus 1. So here I will write minus j minus 1. I did this calculation. Then minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 last term j into 1 plus j. So this is j into 1 plus j. It is j plus j square. j square is minus 1. So it is j minus 1. Plus j minus 1. Keep in mind this 1 by 4 remains as it is <coughs> at the beginning. Now, I will have to further simplify this matrix. 
so I can write it like this 1 by 4 perform the addition it is 4 this minus j and plus j gets cancelled so first answer is 4 second answer what I need to do this so again j and minus j gets cancelled so it becomes 8 next again plus j and minus j gets cancelled so this answer is 0 because 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 become 0 and last answer again this minus j and plus j gets cancelled so answer is 4 but outside this matrix I have 1 by 4 so final answer simply becomes 1 2 because I am dividing this each value by 4 so 1 2 0 1 that means after calculating inverse DFT the answer becomes x of n is equals to 1 2 0 1 this is the final answer do remember in case of these methods in case of these methods uh, keep in mind you just have to memorize the matrix of W4 whenever required you can well generate the matrix of W4 asterisk what could be the variations in such type of equations, such type of numericals. I will also explain you what are the possible variations. Suppose the question is like this. Uh, calculate DFT of sequence X of N is 1, 2, 3, 4. If suppose, as I explained earlier, only three samples are given. You need to add 0 at the end to adjust the length of sequence. Presently, it is same 1, 2, 3, 4. It is asked to calculate DFT and check the validity of your answer. Remember this word, check the validity of your answer. How to do it? First calculate DFT of this equation. You will get some answer as X of K. You are getting answer. Use the same method what we use right now. Now how to check the validity of answer? Whatever answer you are getting, take IDFT, inverse DFT of this answer you should get original sequence back. This is the way how to check the validity of answers. So, dear students, I have explained you the simplest method to calculate the DFT. I have explained it for 4 point DFT. The method is well extended to 8 point DFT. But from the exam point of view, I think, I think 4 point DFT is sufficient. If you want to perform 8 point DFT, again, there is a matrix for W8. You can well perform it. So, that's it for the today's lecture. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.